everyone, my name is Ikra and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this week's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of Qatar National Library, one of the largest libraries in the country. On our way, I spotted this really cool looking car so we had to circle around it to get a proper look. Also passed by Education City Stadium, one of the FIFA 2022 stadiums in Qatar. And look at this lamppost, it looks like a palm tree, but psych, it's a street light. Finally entered Education City, the architecture in this country is immaculate. This diamond shaped building is the Qatar National Library, looks so sleek. To visit, right now during COVID times, you have to book your time slot online and upon arrival, show your QR code. They then give you this entry ticket. They also do scheduled tours on specific dates. There are study places including computers, cafe, and goes without saying, tons of books. There are also please don't run signs everywhere, which makes me wonder what motivated them to put up these warnings in multiple places in the library. You also get complimentary notebooks, but make sure to carry your own stationery because I couldn't find any free pens and pencils. Here's me pretending to browse books for some footage, but the one random book I pull out made me chuckle. It was called The Man Who Planted Trees. Don't worry, I won't spoil it for you. There was also this Arabic cinema poster display going on. Thanks Manoj for displaying the card. There were these big screens with posters displayed. And this underground heritage center that was like a museum of ancient books and related stuff. Look at this pocket globe and this clock that functioned with the help of candles and weighted balls. No battery required. And this wall with my name on it in Arabic, because my name actually means read. After browsing the Heritage Center, we reached the teens fiction section, specifically manga and other comics that motivated my two friends to get this black shiny library card. It took not more than 10 minutes to register and get the card, and we continued browsing this section until our time slot was over. Time flew by really quickly in this library, so we decided to go get lunch and return to the library on the next slot. We went to Esdan Mall to this place called Buffalo's that serve Death Valley Wings, which are supposed to be extremely spicy. So much so that they served gloves with it. There was also this teddy bear dining all alone across our table. You're not in the frame. Do you want to be in the frame? No. Okay. I don't want to be in the video, but... You don't want to be in the video? I, I, I put on my gloves and we also ordered milkshakes for safety measures. It was time to finally eat the Death Valley wings. You're just gonna wait for me to eat first? Yeah. Fine. I can smell it. Your nose is burning? It's fine. No way. I think it's gonna kick later. I don't know. I got it from my lips. My cleavage. Wow, more viewers. No, <laughs> I'm gonna edit it up. <laughs> it's not spicy. I say that, and next shot, I'm gulping down milkshake and blowing my nose profusely. How ironic. We decided to pack the remaining two wings and a celery stick in the glove for Manoj, who didn't join us for lunch. We then returned to the library to browse some more and borrow the books that we wanted. I spotted Cecilia Ahern's books. There is no place like here is the first book I read after moving to Qatar, so I decided to get another book of hers called 100 Names. There is this cell borrowing bookstation where you swipe your card, Place your book and ta-da, book borrowed. Technology at its finest. You have 21 days to return the book. That's all for this video. Okay, bye! But before we go, I want to point out how lucky you are to get to see the abrupt cuts in my videos. <laughs> I tried my best. That's all the footage I had. Also, Malu, you want to be a wet, right? <laughs> There is an entire section for vet-related books 
and Harrison, I miss you. Okay, bye.